Hey guys, it's Carl. So this is the brand new Mac mini with M2 or M2 Pro. Second video that dropped of Apple's new stuff. My first one was the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M2 Pro, M2 Max. I'll leave it linked up this way. Your choice of which video to watch. But the Mac mini, when it was introduced with uh, M Silicon, so the M1, it's actually right over my shoulder, right this way. I thought that was some serious value, a really low key sleeper in the lineup. The same thing remains for the Mac mini this year. So the base level, with the M2 starts off at 599 or 799 Canadian. I know our dollar is a bit skewed. That is some awesome value for what you're getting inside. Obviously you need an external monitor, a keyboard, mouse, etc. but most of us have that. My specific spec is the M2 Pro, 512 gigs of storage, 16 gigs of RAM. This is over $1,200. And I think that big jump between the M2 and the M2 Pro just isn't worth it. My recommended spec, stick to the base level, so M2, Upgrade the RAM, eight gigs to 16. Apple still somehow charges $200 or $250 Canadian to upgrade from eight gigs of RAM to 16, which I think um, is just downright crazy. Stick to the base level storage and get an external hard drive. As this computer will sit at your desk, it's cheaper to just upgrade um, without uh, paying for the Apple tax for extra RAM, for extra storage. So. Definitely my recommended spec, but we'll get to an unboxing in case this is the first time that you're seeing. So the Mac mini comes in the two colors still. So either the silver or the space gray, which you kind of see behind me and um, inside of the box. We've got the Mac mini up top with a nice little black pull tab and underneath uh, designed by California in Apple, if that's the first time you're seeing this here on the channel, Mac mini uh, instructions and a silver Apple sticker, so that will match in correspondence to um, either the silver or the space gray. And underneath that, we just have the standard uh, power cable. So just remember that the Mac mini doesn't come with any extra accessories. So if you still wanna buy a magic keyboard, if you wanna buy a magic mouse, which I would uh, still kind of uh, stay away from, just grab like a Logitech MX Master. This little guy is a lot better for the same price. It's more ergonomic and you can actually use it when it's plugged in. It's a wonder how Apple hasn't replaced that uh, magic mouse yet. I think it's a, a strange one. And when we look around the IO, just pulling off that black piece of plastic, you can see what we've got. So of course power, you've got ethernet, the four USB-C ports, HDMI and two classic USB-A with of course the good old headphone jack on the back. And you know it's Mac mini as it says it in black on the bottom. So this actually has a very similar form factor to the Mac Studio. And the key difference here is actually just the overall chunkiness or the width. Some of the IO is different as well, but you can kind of see it has that same form factor that we've kind of seen for years now from Apple. Obviously the Mac Studio is a little bit dated now as it has the previous gen M1 Max chip, which if you kind of rank that on a scale, the M1 Max is still better than the M2 Pro. That's the same for their MacBook Pro lineup. So if you already own a keyboard mouse uh, display combo and just want to upgrade to the new M2 for $599, that is an absolute steal. Even the M2 Pro, if you're willing to spend that extra money, a lot of people look at Mac minis and think they're just suited for light day-to-day -day tasks. I mean, for $599 for a student, that's a great price. But even with the M2 Pro, you can handle multiple streams of 4K footage. I'm doing that over on my M2 Pro on my MacBook Pro. A lot of Pro lingo, but there is some serious firepower behind this. So I'll get this kind of paired with my studio display and kind of run through um, this little device. And just with literally two cables, so one from uh, the studio display, one from the Mac mini, we have a fully functional setup. So obviously you can choose to go the Apple route, get the uh, Magic Keyboard, get the little uh, trackpad. Like I said, just get the Logitech um, MX Master instead of the Magic Mouse. This is a super potent combo, and I know that it technically isn't a super mobile. I know that you can theoretically put this in your backpack, bring it to say a studio, bring it to a different location. Sure, it's easy, but you're not gonna haul around uh, everything with you every single time. So definitely for a home use or one, I guess, standard location. And with this, I actually edited this video, the one that you're watching on this Mac mini. I was actually fooling around before I started uh, recording this. The timeline was literally buttery smooth. I could edit uh, this 4K video. I think we had uh, two streams, so the B-roll cam plus the A-roll, all of the extra clips. It literally felt like I was uh, on my 16-inch MacBook Pro with M1 Max chip. We're getting to that point of, I wouldn't say diminishing returns, but the power 
of Apple Silicon is just so good. There's really nothing in this space for $600 that kind of competes uh, with this level. So even if you are getting into the PC space, that's technically around the budget level, $600, you cannot um, be editing 4K video. You can't do extreme Photoshop work. Um, so honestly, it just offers some great value. And often the Mac mini is overlooked because everyone wants uh, a laptop, the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro. But if you are able to get by in a desktop setup, yes, you need those extra accessories. Um, I wouldn't say that you have to spend $1,000 for the uh, studio display or even the uh, Pro Display XDR if you wanna be super baller you can still get by with just a two, $300 monitor. Obviously, maybe it doesn't look as good. You don't get the aluminum finishing to match, but that's um, kind of up to you. So anyways, that's kind of your first look at the brand new 2023 Mac mini with M2 slash M2 Pro. I'll try to use it a bit more. I know that I've got uh, multiple devices to compare this to. If you wanna see a comparison between this and the new 16 inch with M2 Pro, let me know. I'll definitely do some more in-depth testing. I'll try to use this as my main studio editing rig. I know that I've got a bit of travel coming up in the next month, so I'll probably be bringing my uh, 16 inch MacBook Pro, but um, studio use, I'll let you know my thoughts, my full review coming up soon. Just remember my recommended spec base level, upgrade the RAM to 16 gigs, get an external hard drive, and you are um, good to go. I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.